They say actions speak louder than words. But the words heard in this Glasgow boardroom today have been reverberating across the country and across the border. It's a right thing to do for me as Chief Constable to clearly state that institutional racism, sexism, misogyny and discrimination exist. Police Scotland is institutionally racist and discriminatory. Sir Ian Livingstone going further than any of his policing peers in calling out the culture within his own force. What I've said today, because of the unique role and the unique powers of the police service, we need to be at the forefront of recognising these institutional barriers, calling them out and thereafter, more importantly, making sure we then take action to make policing as good as it can be. Sheku Bayo was killed in police custody in 2015 after he was restrained by officers. A public inquiry is looking into whether his race was a factor in his treatment. None of the officers involved were prosecuted. His family has welcomed the Chief Constable's remarks today, but they want to see action. It's a significant milestone. It's never happened before in the United Kingdom. Um, but in the end, these are all words. What will count is what happens at the end of Sheku Bayo struggle, the family struggle in terms of the inquiry. If real change is brought about and those who are responsible are held accountable. Sir Ian said individual officers and staff are absolutely not racist and sexist. But his words put pressure on other police leaders to call out systemic discrimination, including the Metropolitan Police Commissioner. And they've already resonated at the very top of government in Scotland. I remember raising issues around racism uh, in the police force, Strathclyde Police as it was back then, when I was stopped and searched over a dozen times as a young boy, whether it was in my car or walking in with my friends in the street or in airports uh, at the time. Uh, and so uh, the acknowledgement from the Chief Constable is very welcome uh, indeed. Sir Ian is due to retire this year. His bold statement will have to be recognised by his successor for there to be significant change. And realistically, real reform would take years. But self-reflection is an important start. Becky Cottrell, Sky News, Glasgow.